three, two, one. It's glow time. While my colleague was covering the event from ground zero at Cupertino, I will attempt and give you a brief of what happened during Apple's biggest event of the year. The biggest event of the biggest tech company in the world can be summed up in a few launches. Four new phones, three TWS products, two smartwatches, and of course, the showstopper, Apple Intelligence. Let's begin with the base models, the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus. The iPhone 16 and 16 Plus form the backbone of Apple's flagship devices. While the design remains largely unchanged, with similar screen technology to previous models, there are no changes in the screen size. The standard iPhone 16 still boasts a 6.1 inch screen, while the 16 Plus boasts a 6.7 inch display. In terms of design though, there is one slight change. The cameras are now vertically aligned. Apple says this is because they want to promote facial video for the Apple Vision Pro. The action button introduced last year in the Pro models is now, is now present in the base models, the 16 and 16 Plus, alongside the camera control button. The dynamic island has been reduced in size as Apple has updated the entire front-facing cameras, including the sensors and LiDAR for face detection. The iPhone 16 and 16 Plus phones have the A18 chip, which has 6 CPU cores and 5 GPU cores. Both the 16 and 16 Plus models will have Apple Intelligence as well as something called Visual Intelligence. Now, this is very interesting. Visual Intelligence basically allows users to just point the camera at something and the camera, with the help of AI, will get the details to you. Okay, so let me get this straight. You point your camera towards a fruit and the camera with the help of AI lets you know which fruit it is, etc, etc. Also, a small side note, this feature sounds very similar to something other AI models are already doing. But anyways, now in terms of camera, we have two lenses on both the 16 and 16 plus models. We have a 48 megapixel primary sensor and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. While on the front, we have a 12 megapixel selfie camera. As mentioned earlier, there's an action button included in the base models this time. Not only this, the base models, the 16 and 16 plus models will also get the dedicated camera button. Now this camera control button, this camera control feature is very interesting. More on that later in the video. Now, the iPhone 16 Pro models. Inside the phones, there is the A18 Pro chip, which has six CPU cores and six GPU cores. This chip is based on the second generation three nanometer process. As compared to the base variants, the Pro models are bigger and wider. The iPhone 16 Pro boasts a display of 6.3 inches, while the iPhone 16 Pro Max boasts a display of 6.9 inch, making it the largest iPhone ever made. These phones have a 48 megapixel primary sensor, a 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor, and a third sensor that has a 5x telephoto lens. These are also the first iPhones ever to support 4K 120 FPS Dolby Vision video. All the phones, but especially the Pro models, are designed in a way that they can handle AI driven tasks. And that is why the A18 Pro chip boasts a 16 core neural engine, which basically means an NPU, which Apple claims is twice as fast in machine learning when compared to the A16 Bionic chip. But why are they comparing it to A16? Why not compare it to A17? The 6 core CPU in the A18 Pro chip has two performance cores and four efficiency cores. Again, delivering 30% faster performance than the A16 Bionic. The most important Apple intelligence feature of all is the new and improved Siri. Now this version of Siri it will only be available in public beta for now and that too for US English users. UK English and Australian English will be added in December. And as expected, this new version of Siri along with the complete gamut of Apple AI features will only be rolling out by mid next year. So to all those people who are eagerly waiting for all the Apple AI features, hold your horses. Now, the camera control button. What is this button? The camera control button is basically a button. Clicking this button will obviously activate the camera. Not only this, something called visual intelligence will help you analyze everything in that photo. Again, very similar to what Google Lens does, the camera control button can also be used to launch a search on Google using photos or even chat GPT. Moving on to the manufacturing side, these are the first Pro models that Apple will be manufacturing in India. Yes, never before have Pro models been manufactured in India. So I guess the camera of the Pro models is truly fascinating. The 48 megapixel primary sensor is larger than its predecessors and has an aperture of f1.7. The ultra wide camera, also a 48 megapixel sensor, has an aperture of f2.2, allowing more light and hence brighter photos. 
photos. You know, one thing to note here is that both the Pro models this time have the 5x telephoto. About time. Now, in terms of video capabilities, the Pro phones have really made advances. How so? I'll tell you. The slow motion in these phones allow for 4K 120fps video, enabling real-time frame-by-frame color grading supported by Dolby Vision. Apple also showcased an example where they showed the weekend utilizing the iPhone 16 Pro lineup for its latest music video. So I guess it's good news for content creators. Another aspect that has improved in the new smartphones from Apple is the mic. As per Apple, these mics are way better now than they used to be. New features include noise cancellation, eliminating background noise and wind noise. As per Apple, the audio quality can be comparable to studio-grade microphones. I mean, the mics on iPhones are already great. And if Apple says they are even better now, uh, that is something interesting. The prices of all these four new iPhones will be listed in this next frame. So if you want to check the prices, pause the video and see. If I had to sum up the whole Apple low time event, I would say that the entire show was focused on Apple intelligence. And it's very clear why Apple wants to push AI features on its users because that's where the industry is heading to. And there you go. That was the entire Apple Glow Time 2024 event. We'll be rolling out more videos, first impressions, reviews for all the Apple products in the days to come. For more such content, keep following BWGE and BW Business World. My name is Deep and I'll be signing off. Also, one very interesting fact, uh, Huawei has an event today, just a day after Apple launched its new range of iPhone. Anyway, very interesting. Keep following BWGE.